Good evening, welcome on in to the evening edition of From Day One. Tonight we go in courtesy of our good friend Van Valium to the great state of South Carolina, where we have a soft set duel getting what they deserve for driving on fake tags. My good friend Van, take it away. Supreme Court of the United States has ruled that we are able to travel freely unencumbered. You, I'm not you guys, get into semantics with you. You guys, the argument on the legal grounds on your end is the, the sovereign part of it. Step out of the vehicle, or we will have to physically remove you from the vehicle, which is what we are trying to avoid having to do. Welcome back to the Van Valian channel guys, today we head to Kershaw County, South Carolina for yet another traffic stop where a sovereign citizen duo get pulled over for having fake traveller plates on their vehicle. And they go into the usual soft seat script. The deputy manages to get the driver out of the vehicle pretty early on, but the passenger is a tougher nut to crack. But they crack it in the end. Right, let's get into the video. All right, ma'am. Sir, can I have your name, please? I didn't do a crime, sir. And the reason for the stop, okay? Sir, I didn't do a crime. Sir, can I have your name and badge number, please? This is Deputy McElveen. Deputy McElveen, my badge number is 4300-1576, okay? Okay. Again, I'm going to need you to step out the vehicle for I'm not getting out of the vehicle, sir. I didn't do a crime. I did nothing wrong. I heard no one. I've explained to you. You're operating a vehicle with a fake license. I didn't hurt no one. This is a private this vehicle. This is a private vehicle. Yes, it is. Vehicle on a, on a we plane. are allowed to travel by the no, Supreme sir, not, Court. Okay? Yes, correct. The Supreme Court has ruled on the right to travel many times by foot, not behind the wheel of a motor vehicle, because the constitutional right to travel does not create the constitutional right to drive. When are you guys going to start reading those cases in their entirety instead of just the cherry-picked quotes on soft-sit websites? Because this is ridiculous. Close that door, sir. Close that door. Can you the vehicle for me? No. Close that door, please, sir. No. Close the vehicle, sir. Close the vehicle, please. Sir, I did no crime. I'm going to need you to step out the vehicle for me. I did no crime. You're refusing to identify yourself on a lot That is not a crime. I'm identifying myself. Sir, I'm asking you. Sir, I've asked you nicely. I'll identify myself. Sir. Give me my driver's license. Hold on. Sir. Can you please? Give me my driver's license. Hold on a second. Sir, his name is Steven. So therefore, okay. that's that, that, that is. Give me my driver's license, sir. If you could, please. Yes, yes sir. give me my driver's license. You. That's what I've been asking for this entire time. Okay. What a pair we have here, guys. What a pair we have here, guys. He's dumb enough to pull this right to travel BS when he has a driver's license, and she's equally dumb for thinking refusing to identify is not a crime. Amazing. And I'm going to ask you now that he's self-identifying, if you could close the door, please. All right. Do you have an ID on you, ma'am? I do. Okay, can I see it, please? I'll give you my passport. No, th that's fine. Do you hear me? That South Carolina driver's license, too. No, sir. Oh, okay. Is that I'm, because I'm not driving. Oh, okay. So, therefore, you don't need my ID. Okay. Yet you've just handed over your passport, which is a form of identification. So, make your mind up, you either want to ID or you don't. So, therefore, I'm giving you my okay. passport. I'm yeah, for ID. Yeah, I'm still going to ask you to sell out the vehicle. Though. I'm not getting out of the vehicle, sir. Okay, well, I didn't do a crime. You. I've asked you not to sell out the vehicle. I don't have to get out of the vehicle, so I did no crime. Okay, well, stay I did nothing wrong. I'm not going to ask you to get out of the vehicle if I want to, okay? And I am asking you, based on your actions so there far, I'm asking you to get out of the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, so he's getting out, just, sir, just so that we're, we're, we're just, and sir, just to let you know, he's getting out of the vehicle. Yeah, I think he's well aware of that scene as it's happening right in front of him, and because he was the one who told him to step out of the vehicle. What a weird thing to say to the person who made that happen. Anyway, now it's her turn to step out, so let's see if she has enough sense to obey a lawful order. Spoiler alert, she doesn't. Can you step out of the car too? I will not. 
There's no reason why I need to. Can you please step out of the vehicle? No, I cannot. Ma'am, can you please exit the vehicle for me? What, what, why? What did I do? Okay, I'm at, I'm, what did, because you're a passenger in the vehicle, I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle for me. There, I've explained that to you, okay? Just give me a second. I will not step out of the vehicle. Can you please exit the vehicle for There's me? no reason that I need to. Yes, there is, ma'am. I need you to step out of the vehicle for me. No, sir. Ma'am. I've asked you nicely. This is a lawful order. Please exit the vehicle. Well, we didn't do anything wrong, sir. Can you please exit the vehicle? No. I've asked very nicely. Okay. And I'm telling you that there was no reason for me to get out of the vehicle. I'm asking you very nicely, ma'am. I, I am I'm not ma getting out of the vehicle. I've asked you nicely. This is a lawful order. I have not done a crime. I'm not driving. I am. I, we are traveling. Okay. Excuse me, sir. So what I will tell you is... Based on the, both of y'all's actions, I don't feel comfortable with anything in this vehicle right now. I would like, hold on, sir. I would like to conduct this traffic stop outside of the vehicle based on your actions because I no. don't feel comfortable with the way you are acting. And that's, and that, that's not, not, not my issue. Or any type of thing like there are no that. weapons in this car. I'm sorry, but he's not going to be taking the word of a person who can blatantly ignore a lawful order. Seriously, if you can do that, then what else are you capable of doing? Even the driver had enough sense to step out. But now the cop has brought up the idea of weapons, she tries to play the old Uno reverse card on him by pretending she's the one who doesn't feel safe stepping out because he has a gun. Yeah, that old chestnut. Because, as we all know, windows are famous for stopping bullets. Right? I've asked nicely. He's, I'm not searching it, sir, but I'm asking you to please exit the vehicle. I will not e exit okay. my vehicle. I feel safe here. Okay. Well, I'm asking you again. This is a lawful order to exit the vehicle, okay? I am not going to exit the vehicle. I feel safe here. I okay. do not feel safe well, on the middle of the road. He's coming, but when they get here, we, we can address that, okay? But I'm going to ask you again. I feel safe here. You have a weapon. I do not. Just give us a ticket and, and we'll this be gone. Not, you're not... You, no. That's not how this is going to go, okay? We didn't break any sir, laws. Sir, this is my traffic stop, okay? We didn't break any laws. Well, first of all, you're driving a vehicle on a public road with a very nice looking but definitely not legal registration plate. And secondly, the passenger is refusing a lawful order at this very moment to step out of the vehicle, so yes. Yes, you are breaking the law. Please. I'm we we, did, we have, have done nothing wrong. I asked you very nicely to exit the vehicle. I am not. I am not exiting the vehicle. Listen, you cannot. Uh -huh. I don't want you reaching back in the vehicle right now. I, I don't want you. Right I don't want you reaching back in the vehicle. I right have now. the right to get a cigarette, sir. Sir, I have a right to get a cigarette. I've asked you to step out. To, I've asked you to step out of my vehicle, okay? You I've asked right? you to step out of my vehicle. All right. I'm going to ask you that you don't walk toward me anymore, ma'am. If you would please get out of the vehicle. No, sir. I've explained to you. I do not feel comfortable with either one of y'all. And I'm sorry that you feel that way, but however, there are no there are no weapons in this vehicle. Okay. And therefore, there is no reason why you should feel ill about us being here. There is no reason why no, I should so get out. You anything out of this vehicle right now, okay? There. No, sir, you cannot. There, I'm asking her to get out of the vehicle. As soon as she gets out the vehicle. No yes, sir, you did. I do. I'm putting a vehicle with a fake license plate. There's, there's no license plate on this. This is a private vehicle. Again. And, and therefore, Again, this is a I'm private vehicle, and we are traveling. We are traveling. We are not driving. We are traveling. We have the right to travel. It and the this, the South, the um, Supreme Court of the United States has ruled that we are able to travel. Freely unencumbered. The 14th Amendment says we have the right to travel. No, no, sir. Yes, it does. No, sir. We have the right to travel. No, sir. Yes, it does. Okay. Look it up. All right. Look it up. Educate yourself. We are able to travel free and, un and unencumbered okay. in in okay. our okay. own okay. private vehicle. Okay, that's great, no, okay? And that and the and the and the United States Supreme Court has ruled on this okay. multiple times. Yeah, what? What's more likely, the Supreme Court ruled that you don't need a driver's license to operate a vehicle on a public road multiple times because you have the right to travel, in which case all DMVs would cease to exist because nobody would ever bother getting a license if they didn't need to, let alone take driving lessons. Hell, even a child could drive a tank down the road. Extreme example, I know, but it's legal according to this pair of morons. 
or you could fly a plane without supervision and claim the right to travel. Or these idiots found a soft seat right to travel website full of misinformation and cherry picked Supreme Court cases. Yeah, that's a tough one, isn't it? Again, again, this is my traffic stop. This is my traffic stop, okay? I'm conducting this. Alright? I need both of y'all to relax. I'm asking you once again, is it a lawful order to exit the vehicle? Okay? I am not trying to make this any harder than it needs to be, but I'm asking you to exit the vehicle now, okay? I am not exiting the vehicle. I feel safe here. Okay. You have a you Can have you watch her. No no, watch her. I am not going to cause any issue, but I am not going to leave the leave my vehicle. I feel safe here. Y'all have weapons. I do not. I am not leaving my vehicle. Ma'am, all we need you to do is step outside. Okay? And why is that? Again, ma'am. Tell me why I need to leave the vehicle. Lawful order to exit the vehicle, okay? Tell me why. Watch her, okay? After watching lots of DUI body cam videos with my wife recently, I've noticed that soft sitters and drunk drivers have a lot in common. Both ask questions they already have the answer to, both act like children having a tantrum when things don't go their way, and both continually refuse lawful orders and drive illegally. Oh, and both act like Karens by asking to speak to the manager, like this soft sit is about to do. Any other similarities you can think of, of which I'm sure there are plenty, please leave them in the comments. I need to leave. Could I have a supervisor, please? Could I have a supervisor? I believe someone is coming. I would like a supervisor. Okay. I mean, not. And your, your name and badge number, sir? Chavis. And your badge number? 75. 75? Yes. Thank you, sir. Do you know, if I genuinely felt threatened by these deputies because they have guns, the last thing I would do is ask for even more officers in the form of a supervisor who also has a gun. Or is it that you actually don't feel threatened, you just don't like what you're hearing and think playing the victim card is some kind of get-out-of-jail-free card? All right, ma'am, again, I'm going to ask you, this is a lawful order to exit the vehicle, please. I am not exiting the vehicle. I feel safe here. That's, I'm, I'm glad you feel safe in your vehicle, ma'am, but again, this is a lawful order, and you are to exit your vehicle now. Please please tell me why I need to exit. I'm not the driver. Ma'am, I am not the driver. I've explained I, We are traveling. Lawful, you are traveling. This is a lawful order to exit the vehicle now, please. Please tell me why. Because I gave you a lawful order to. I've asked you multiple so, times so you're, very you, so, to exit the vehicle, please, okay? All right, make sure I'm in frame for this, okay? Good? You got yep, I got you. Waste the head, right? Yep, I got you. Right. And your name is? Sergeant Tate. With and, your, office. and your badge number? 31. Okay. You're being ordered out of a vehicle pursuant to case law, Brenlin v. California, which gives us the authority from the Supreme Court of the United States to order passengers out of the vehicle. And the Supreme Court has also ruled that we are able to travel unencumbered. That's not true. Yes, it is. That's the Supreme Court has ruled on that numerous times, the last time being 2014. So, as always, you guys cite the Supreme Court when you think it agrees with you, yet you hand wave dismiss another case because you don't agree with it, or it doesn't fit your narrative. Now, if that isn't the height of hypocrisy, then I don't know what is. Okay. Ma'am, I'm trying to do this as safely and inconveniently for you as possible. So you've received a lawful order to exit the vehicle from one of my deputies. Okay, why do I, if I'm... You need to remove your safety restraint and you need to exit the vehicle. Why do I need to exit the vehicle? Ma'am? Why? Because he gave you a lawful order pursuant to case law that, that gives us that authority for our safety and your safety to step out of the vehicle. You, you, I'm not you guys... i the semantics with you. You guys... The argument on the legal grounds on your end as the, the sovereign part of it. Step out of the vehicle or we will have to physically remove you from the vehicle, which is what we were trying to avoid having to do. Again, this is like having a debate with a drunk driver where they continually ask the questions they have the answer to, and when they've wrung out everything they can from that question, they move on to another irrelevant subject. I wouldn't have the patience for it, so kudos to every one of these deputies for putting up with this nonsense. I do not give you permission to search me or my property. Okay, please step out. I do not give you permission to search my vehicle. 
I do not give you permission no to do it. Anything right now, Step out of the but again, I have asked you numerous times on body. But there's no reason for me to do so. To Whether exit you, the vehicle. There's no reason for me to do so. Whether you think there's a reason or not is irrelevant in this entire scenario. Okay. Step out of the vehicle on your own accord, under your own power. That's what I'm asking you to do right now. I'm grabbing my purse. Now, if you would accompany me to the driver's side, I would like for you to be with your dog, okay? So you my dog's... Okay, yes. Those poor dogs, what must it be like having soft seats for owners? I just, I can't imagine. Well, at least this deputy is thinking of their welfare. Unlike their owners, who are quite happy to have them stuck in a car while they make pointless arguments on the side of the road. Get those pooches a better home. Yes. If you're, what's the easiest way to get out? Driver's side or passenger side? For the dogs? Yes. The, the, to get the dogs out of the vehicle. Probably through the back. Okay, so let's go to the back so you can retrieve your dog. I'm going to shut your door now, I will. Okay? Cl I will close my door. I did not give you permission to touch my car. That's fine. And there's that dumb soft sit plate with the uniform commercial codes soft sits like to cite, even though according to them codes aren't law, that got them pulled over in the first place. So it may as well just read bust me at this stage. Get a jacket. Can I hand him his jacket? Yeah. My property do not touch. Okay. Can I get a cigarette out of my car? One second, stay. 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 Come on. You stepping on me? No, stay. Right, so that's how this one ended. I'm guessing the vehicle was impounded with her being told to empty it of its belongings, and rightly so, and she definitely should have been arrested for obstruction as well, in my opinion. But to be honest, I care more about the dogs in this one. I hope they weren't too stressed by all this nonsense. Anyway, a link to the original video, which doesn't really have a title or description, will be in the description as always. Right, thank you so much for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video then please leave me a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support, I really appreciate it. Right, take care all and I will catch up with you in the next Alrighty, with that, we'll bring this to a close here on From Day One. As always, please make sure you do like, share, and subscribe to kind of one another and release the Gretchens as we march along this evening and every evening here from day one. Have a great night. We will see you all tomorrow.